Hi everyone and welcome back to the London Watch Collector channel. If you've just tuned in to my channel, I'm a watch collector, a watch enthusiast, I'm basically addicted to watches. And on my channel, I'll be sharing my passion for watches using 4K content. I'll be discussing and showing you brilliant timepieces ranging from Seiko to Patek Philippe. So guys, if you enjoy my reviews, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure to click on the notification bell and follow me on Instagram. So guys, as you can see from the title, this video is about whether or not did I buy the Alanga and Zona Odysseus released back in October 2019. Because if you're following me on Instagram, you'll see that I uploaded a couple of photos and videos of the Odysseus. ALS has always been something I've admired. It's a German brand that perfect things. It's like a German car whereby you know it's going to be top-notch when it comes to performance, when it comes to reliability. We have to face it, Germans have perfected anything that they manufacture. And it goes without say that even when it comes to their watches, being a proud German brand, they are classified as the high horology. So what about me and Alain Gonzona? As you guys know, I only buy stainless steel watches, mainly sports professionals. I'm not really the type of guy who enjoys dress watches. It just does not fit my lifestyle. Although I've always been a fan of the Zeitwerk, but because it's in precious metal, I never pull the trigger. And I've always thought to myself, you know what, maybe the day will come when they release it in stainless steel and I'll definitely be pulling the trigger. Well, the good news came before that because back in October 2019, Alain Gonzona released for the very first time in production model the Odysseus in stainless steel. And the moment I saw it, I fell in love with it. And I've asked around in the boutique in Harrods, I was told that they are not going to receive any pieces until April 2020. Of course, with the pandemic and the situation around the world, everything came to a halt, everything was delayed, and I thought to myself, you know what, I don't mind waiting for a bit longer until I'll be able to get my hands on it and see it for myself. Because frankly speaking, there were lots of views online, some people liked it, some people don't, some people criticized the bracelet, the lug width, etc. It reminds me of the Rolex Pepsi. Initially, everybody hated it because it was on a Jubilee bracelet, and then next thing you know, once Rolex started releasing it, people trying them on, seeing them in the flesh, it went over the roof. And I believe that's what's gonna happen with the Odysseus. And I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna give my opinion until I have my hands on it because it's unfair for a watch or anything for that matter to criticize it or reflect your views without handling it in your own hands. Because let's face it, looking at photos online or videos online, you can't really appreciate a watch. It's like trying to review or buy a fragrance online. How could you do so without trying the scent of it? And I believe it's the same thing when it comes to watches. That's why I've always stayed away from reviewing or giving my opinion on watches unless I have it hands-on on my desk and give you my unbiased feedback. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna wait until this pandemic is over, go into a boutique and try it on. And then during the lockdown, being at home for a good two and a half, three months, I went online, a Langa website, I filled up a form and I told them basically I'm interested in buying the watch. If there is any possibility that I could review the watch because I have a YouTube channel, I would love to do that. A week later, they got in touch and they agreed. They sent me the watch for a week all the way from Germany for me to review it and share with you my opinions. And that's exactly what I'm going to do in this review, guys. So without further ado, let's get back to the studio and show you this amazing timepiece. The Odysseus was sent in a small watch box due to security measures, of course, as well as transportations, etc. So unfortunately, I won't be able to give you a full unboxing experience, at least not for now. So it comes with this nicely designed Alanga and Zona box, which at the bottom of it says it's made in Germany. Once you open it up, you can see that the watch is protected with some plastic film. So let's go ahead and remove that. So 
So Langa and Zona has six different models, or as they like to call them as families, starting with the Odysseus, and then Langa 1, and then the Zeitwerk, and then the Saxonia, followed by the 1815, and then the Richard Langa. This watch was aimed or born to be a competitive rival to the Nautilus and the Royal Oak. And by all means, Alanga have not disappointed because they have produced something that is perfect for weekends, during leisure activities such as hiking, swimming, and sailing. I've actually enjoyed this watch in a park while walking my son in his pram. It was so subtle and versatile, it just makes you smile. So the reference of this watch is 363.179. It has a caliber L155.1. The case is made out of stainless steel. The dial is dark blue. The hands are white gold. And the diameter is 40.5 millimeters. And the height is 11.1. So as you can see, it's a day and a date with a sub dial seconds hands between the 5 and 7 o'clock. The ears you see at the top and bottom of the crown are actually pushers for the day and the date. I love the fact rather than have hidden pushers around the case or using the crown, they were able to use the beautiful aesthetics of the watch to have hidden pushers that you can't even tell it's actually there. I wouldn't even have guessed that these were pushers for adjusting the day and the date. Of course, we can't forget about the loom shot. I love the way that the dial is made. So on the outer ring, you can see a nice glossy finish. In the center, you have it more of a, a rough impinged, which looks beautiful, especially in the sun. So the bracelet on the buckle, which was criticized mostly online when it was first released. Well, believe it or not, guys, the first thing that attracted this watch to me was the bracelet. Because I feel that the brand came up with a completely different bracelet. It stayed away from the Royal Oak, from the Nautilus. They created something completely different, so well made, sophisticated, and the engineering and design of it is just extraordinary. Because if you guys didn't know, this watch can be adjusted while on the wrist by just pressing down on that button you can adjust the size of the bracelet by seven millimeters in small steps and you don't even need to take the watch off i find that extraordinary because even other top brands out there were unable to come up with such an idea another thing is is the way you adjust the watch it's so simple there's a button you just have to press it pull out the pin the bracelet comes off and then to remove the links you can see the arrows there all you have to do is push and pull and remove the pin and that's you all set. One thing you'll notice that the clarity of the dial as well as the case back, which I'll show you in a second, Alanga was able to create such a dial that even when you have it directly faced at the sun, it does not reflect any light. It absorbs the sunlight somehow. It's extraordinary. The Odysseus caliber operates on a new escapement system, which has a 4 hertz frequency, which makes it less sensitive to external factors, hence being a sports watch. So the caliber is the L155. .1. It's tailor-made for the DCS only, having a diameter of 32.9 millimeters. As you can see there, the caliber uses the full size of the case covering every little corner, which makes it even more beautiful, larger in size, so the eye can actually appreciate it. And I love the craftsmanship. The engraving on the balance wheel, the attention to detail, the screws they've used, and that large skeletonized rotor made out of platinum. I love how they did not use any gold or rose gold. They stuck to the subtle color of platinum and the hefty weight, creating this amazing, spectacular finish without any compromises. And if you're wondering why does it say Datomatic, basically it stands for a combination of date as well as automatic winding. So what do I think about this watch and will I be buying it or not? After a week of wearing it on a daily basis, mostly at home due to the lockdown, frankly speaking, I will definitely be adding this watch to my collection because I feel it fits perfectly in my collection alongside the Nautilus and Royal Oak. And I must say, I'm intrigued and astonished by the fact how the German brand was able to do these small little things to the watch that make it stand out. For example, the way you adjust the links, the way you adjust the watch, the way the pushers are placed, how you can adjust the bracelet without removing the watch from your wrist, the way the dial 
absorbs the light and does not reflect it whatsoever and of course that impeccable caliber with the amazing engravings around the balance wheel so my honest opinion would be yes i'll definitely be adding this watch to my collection unfortunately i'll have to join the waiting list wait for a while i'm not sure exactly how long but i'm very eager to have this watch on my wrist but most importantly guys let me know in the comments below what do you think about this watch sitting in my collection lately during this pandemic i started realizing that my watch collection should be more about the quality rather than the quantity so this lockdown actually made me come to a realization that i'm getting closer to refine my watch collection and hopefully in the near future i'll be surprising you guys with a review whereby I've refined my watch collection. So I honestly can't wait to have this watch in my collection, give you the full unboxing, and I'm excited to see what the brand has in the future, because I feel they're gonna be a full lineup of stainless steel coming in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. That's all for this week. Thank you for watching.